and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match will be Geo. He is ranked 9th in his gold division with 1,024 points. His record is 80 and 96. And here we are in the game. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast up against Geo. He is a random player. I assume that Geo means he's male. Um, and he has spawned as a blue zerg in the southwest corner. This is the last game of the night for him. I don't know if I was supposed to answer that, start to strike up a conversation. I still don't know what to say for that. to that. Like, um, well, I hope you go to bed angry or depressed because I won? Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Um, okay, I'll let you win so that you go so that you leave happy i i still don't know um i i never know which game's going to be my last game of the night because i always want to go out with a win i don't want to be stewing about the last game that i played so i i usually wait until i win to think uh yeah that's good enough for me and here we're going to be seeing a 10 pool did you see that 10 harvesters into a pool and really early I mean that it's not the earliest possible uh, rushing build for a Zerg player I have heard of a seven pool working eight pool um, even a six pool but I, I really would rather nobody ever try that uh, this is a ten pool which is one of the the safer rushing builds but as I go in and I'm like wow that pool has been going for a while it's almost done so um, I need to get back into my base and start doing some stuff so I you know I see that there's no gas going it is just gonna be the spawning pool out so uh, Queen is on the way so I mean it, it still can be an eco build I guess you know, I, I'm not too familiar with the entirety of Zerg mechanics, but I would always assume that if he's going to get the pool that early, that it's going to be a rush. An extractor is on the way. It looks like it was about an, a 17 or an 18 extractor. And doesn't look like any ha uh, expansion is on the way. Um, he is getting Zerglings, um, but I am also getting my Marine out. And it will spawn right at the same time as the drone passes by. Oh, a little bit better timing would have been nice maybe to block him off. Uh, but he is able to get inside. A little bit of a bad micro on my part. I did pull three SCVs off the line to finish it. And I still couldn't save that SCV and he exploded. So we are even in the unit's loss count. But he, rightfully so, is ahead in the APM meter. The APMeter, and yeah, I don't know what to call it. And here we go. Here's the expansion on the way. Um, really late once again because of that really early spawning pool. And after all that work to get that spawning pool out early, we've only got four Zerglings on the field. He is doing a lot of injecting. And we're going into fast layer tech. Wow. So that... That early spawning pool, I don't know if that was, um, I, I don't know what to say about that. Me, it's it's always possible that it was a, a diversion for me to think that he was going to be going for something early, you know, with Zerglings coming in or something like that. But um, it really didn't scare me too far out of my build, you know. I just went for the block off here, and I'm like, hey, you know, that one Marine can take out about six Zerglings by the time they get through any of the supply depots. An evolution chamber squirting out right there. That that sound is disgusting, I'm sorry. Um, and really, he's just sticking with a few Zerglings. He, a few more did come out, though. So he's up to ten, I believe, ten Zerglings. I am going pretty much my standard build now. This is a this is my defensive build against um, against rushes, especially against zergling rushes. But now that you know about this time, I'm starting to think to myself, 
well, wait, where are they? If he was going to be going for it, they should have been here by now. You know, these marines can take out a ton of zerglings because of this block off. And it is a complete block off, which is always vital if you're going to be playing Terran. And learn how to do the block off on the ramp. If you don't, you're going to get a lot of run bys and you're going to lose when you shouldn't. So here we go. A lot of zerglings out on the field now. Uh, now be researched is the attacks level one and the speed upgrade but no banelings nest um on the way looks like he was trying to go for some kind of drop no i mean that requires an upgrade so and he didn't have it so no sorry you cannot drop pretty much standard for me stim packs concussive shells upgrade Weapons level one before I get the combat shield, but that is queued up. I always queued up behind the concussive shells because the concussive shells finish first. I do have a lot of gas. I am working off two gas here. Lots of zerglings out on the field. They are starting to move out. Maybe? Yeah. No, they go into my like third kind of. I don't like going there. I don't like expanding there like ever. Boo, expansion. And a spire is on the way. And look at that. I drop a scan going, what the hell is going on on that side? So, I, yeah, I check it. You might have saw that little red circle around that spire there. I'm going, is that a spire? It is a spire. So now I have no choice. I figure I've got to go in now. I am going to start building missile turrets around um, the, back of my, um, the back of my mineral line. But here we go. The Zerglings are going to encounter my army. I should not have too much of a problem taking care of them. They do uh, take out a few of uh, my units, but really, um, I, I won the battle, and he is forced to play ultra-defensively. Twelve Zerglings on the way. Uh, three missile turrets up in the back of my base. He is not going to be able to get any mutas out anytime soon, it looks like. Uh, he sh well, even if he did, it wouldn't be enough. He only has enough gas for four? Just now getting enough for four mutas. And of course he had to use all those larvae for zerglings instead. And here I take out the hatchery. I always hate when my marines die to broodlings, and one of them just did. And I hate that. Spine crawlers on the way. They will not have time to finish. Not with marines and marauders. Especially with Stimpak up. And here we go, all the drones off the line, Zerglings coming out, and they will be able to finish that first attack. But really, he is down to just that. What? What is that? That's uh, 10, 11, 11, 11 Zerglings. Up against my six Marines and six Marauders, I am starting to rally them here uh, just to make sure that... Um, if for whatever reason he went for another hatchery here, uh, that he wouldn't be able to spot it with anything uh, before I started moving in. Those larvae are still alive. They will not make it once they are off to creep. And, oh, there they went. Zerglings are out. There are 21 of them now. Another queen on the way. Armor level ones on the way. I am getting two factories inside my base. I did get those missile turrets fully up. Still haven't gone for the expansion. I'm moving in, able to take out those zerglings, no problem, and he is forced to GG. So that is the game. Maybe? Is he gonna leave? Does he think that the drones are gonna win this? Okay, there we go. And I do bring in you know, rallying troops and making more as well. So that is the game. And really, really, really what won that for me was the scan. Once I saw that spire on the way, I knew that he didn't have that many zerglings out because he needed uh, to be able to get a lair and he needed to be able to drone up in order to get all that money, uh, which means he didn't have enough for that uh that many zerglings in defense so that is what won the game was a, was a scan a well-timed scan um 
because I'm almost mined out of my main, um, I didn't. I, I stopped thinking about. Oh, I need minerals as soon as possible. So I was like, "Yeah, what's going on over there?" Because Zergling should have been here by now. So really, a uh, ten pool not being used for an early rush might have cost him the game. Maybe it was a diversion tactic, but once, but that doesn't always work against. Well, any race because, well. I mean, it can work, but not when you're a Zerg player, necessarily, because if I see the early spawning pool, uh, you know, there's not very much in terms of air, um, air anti-air inside the Zerg base. There's really only the queens. So if a uh, Protoss player were to get out a fast uh, observer to figure out what was going on, and he'd be able to get that uh, spire spotted, uh, another Zerg player would be able to send an Overlord in to, to see the Spire, and of course Terrence can scan. So, you know, it's it's risky. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. It may work, but it's risky, and it's not something that I would necessarily recommend on such a small map, because uh, once I saw that Spire up, I wanted to get in there before the mutas were completed, and I was able to, and that's probably won't won me the game, um, although it might have been won before then because he was so behind in the military while focusing on the eco. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.